Some patients have a difficult airway, meaning that endotracheal intubation for surgery or respiratory support in an emergency or critical illness becomes difficult. So how can you tell if a patient will be difficult to intubate? That's the focus of a rational clinical examination systematic review published in JAMA. The authors searched the medical literature and found 62 high-quality studies of over 30,000 patients. These studies investigated the diagnostic accuracy of physical signs and bedside tests for predicting difficult endotracheal intubation. Here's what they found. Among the 10% of patients that were difficult to intubate in the studies, the strongest risk factor for a difficult intubation was a prior history of having a difficult intubation. There were four physical examination findings that predicted a difficult intubation. Number one, a class three upper lip bite test, which is the inability to bite any part of the upper lip with the lower incisors, signifying limited mandibular range of movement. Number two, a distance between the hyoid bone and the mentum with thresholds ranging from less than three centimeters to less than five and a half centimeters. Number three, Retronathia, defined as a mandible measuring less than 9 centimeters from the angle of the jaw to the tip of the chin, or the subjective appearance of a short mandible. And number four, a Wilson score of greater than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 3. The Wilson score comprises measures of weight, C-spine mobility, jaw mobility, retronathia, and prominent incisors. The widely used malman patty score measures the visibility of oropharyngeal structures. A malman patty score of greater than or equal to 3 had a positive likelihood ratio of 4.1. No risk factor or physical finding consistently ruled out a potentially difficult intubation. The authors conclude that although a variety of tests are helpful in identifying a potentially difficult intubation, the inability to bite the upper lip with the lower incisors was the best predictor. An abnormal upper lip bite test, which is easily assessed by clinicians, raises the probability of a difficult intubation from 10% to greater than 60% for the average risk patient. For a full description of the physical examination and the study's findings, click the link in the description.